Jamie, as you said, the role of government in your industry has changed, and it's a global phenomenon. Uh, and you have told the shareholders, you've said publicly, that control and regulatory, that agenda is top priority now for the bank. Right. You have a big, successful organization. How do you get them focused on a top priority uh, that's not what it used to be? So, you know, um, first of all, banks are, have always been heavily regulated, yeah. so it's not right. that different. Right. It's just more intensive. There's a crisis. Uh, you know, standards are changing. And you know, I think it's like I always used to give my kids advice, you know, get adjusted to the new reality quickly. Right. That's what that was. Right. You know, we got to fix certain control things. We had some problems. We still are growing. We had record results. It doesn't take away from all the great things the company's done. Right. But, you know, when you have these demands, they're from your regulators, right. you're gonna, we're going to meet them. And, you know, we fell short in a couple of things they wanted us to do. And so, you know, it's like, you know, doing the local partners. That's what we have to do to be successful, and uh, we're going to do it. The, the whole company gets it. We've taken, it, organizationally, took some senior people, and we made it the job of me and all of the senior people, we didn't, right. as opposed to pushing it way down the organization. Right. We have dedicated staffs. We got, you know, we got a group of, I've got 100 that do nothing but stress testing, a group of 50 that do nothing but resolution, a group of... Right. So we've completely organized around these new challenges, as opposed to making it part of everyone's job. Right. And, um, then nobody you know, owns it. Then nobody owns it. It's a little bit more like, you know, I think for the most part, you, it's better at business to delegate as far as you can and right. stuff like that and to collaborate as much as you can. Right. But in certain circumstances, it's command and control. Like when you do an acquisition, it's command and control. You don't have the time and you, don't have, you can't ever have a vote on what systems you're going to use or right. you know, what products or branding. So, um, so we just... This part of the agenda, we move to more of a command and control structure. I want to ask you a general question on something you mentioned, which is the idea of adjusting to your new reality. You are well known for facing the new reality faster and more completely than most executives in most businesses. Why do most organizations have such a terribly difficult time doing this obvious thing? Well, first of all, I think a lot of people do it really well. And yeah. if you look at a lot of businesses, they are exceptional. Look at these guys. Right. They, they're they're right. changing around the world all the time, and they're adjusting and bobbing and weaving and adjusting to it. Right. Uh, look, I, I think it's important for companies that, and, and CEOs, but for the companies, the senior teams, to know what's going on, to get out in the field, to listen to it, to hear it directly, to, you know, there's, there's this temptation at corporate headquarters. Yeah. You know, if I write a book, it's going to be about the disease of corporate headquarters that, you know, the staff takes care of everything. Don't worry about it, Jim. We took care of that. And you're, you're sinking deeper and deeper in the hole. You don't even know. Right. So get out, talk to the people, talk to the regulators, go to Washington. You may not like what you're hearing, but at least you, you can respond to it. And you know, I, I always tell people, you could be any kind of different good CEOs or all different types. Right. But one thing I think you have to be is open, sharing information inside the company, transparent. You know, no one should walk into your office and be afraid to say whatever you think. Right. If, you, if that's the kind of CR, you're going to have a problem. It's just a matter of time. Right. Uh, and you'll have problems anyway, by the way. There's, yeah, there's <laughs> right. You, you'll always have problems. You'll always have yeah, problems. Exactly. Yeah. Right, right, right. Uh, another topic, human capital, talent. As you said, the, vat the battle is always there. Uh, J.P. Morgan Chase has a training program mm -hmm. for new people that is famous in the industry. In fact, it's famous outside the industry. What are you noticing that's different about the people you're bringing in now who are attracted to this program, I presume, but they're not the same people they used to be? Yeah. So, uh, first of all, we have hundreds of programs. This is a, yeah. matter of fact, I think companies do a tremendous amount of training right. way beyond what people think.